I looked out the window Sunday and that water was creeping me out to the point that I said, we're leaving right now. Found a hotel, we left. Didn't come back until Tuesday morning. We were coming down the street. First you saw Jacobob's, the restaurant, and I was like, oh God. And then you see the houses just sitting on the foundation, like the roof is on the foundation. I'm like, oh God. And then you get down the street and you can slowly see into our house and you could see that there's nothing in there except a wall. And I'm like, pull the car over, pull the car over. Pull. Like I was freaking out. And I didn't see the front view that everyone, you know, has that image in their head of our house. I saw the side view of everything gone and just a pile of rubble. I, you know, I remember calling my dad and like, dad, like the house is destroyed. What do you mean the house is destroyed? Like the house is destroyed. Like this house that's been here for 150 years is no more. Like I am homeless. <laughs> you know, we are homeless. It was always the plan to eventually come back here in some capacity, whether it was rebuilding the other house or moving into a different house. Like this is where we had planned to be together and live together and spend our lives together. So one year later, you know, circumstances are, are allowing us for, to ultimately move back here. So, you know, and we're really excited, but it's kind of bittersweet because we're coming back and we're, you know, we're restarting, you know, across the street and everything, but there's so many empty lots everywhere. Like we're coming back to no neighbors. You wake up and you look out the window and you see where you used to live and there's where the house used to be. And you have water views now, which you wouldn't have had if you lived in that house previously because there are no other houses on the block except for the nice lady that we met yesterday that her house was a concrete house and it stood through the storm. You know, we have a neighbor rebuilding next door to us, but they're not near completion. There's a couple other houses on our side of the street, but that end of Front Street was just ravaged by the storm. People ask me, don't you feel like you know, you're going back and there's, you have no neighbors, like, isn't that depressing to you? And I'm like, no, because people are starting to come back. It's just somewhere that we felt like a connection to and we didn't want to leave and we were forced to leave, but I only signed a one-year lease because I knew that at some point that we'd be back.